Alrighty guys, so we are in Komarebi and we're at a private venue that Empress Lena had set up. We are here because we're going to meet some new nobles and I'm not exactly sure what their noble title is going to be yet, but basically these are common folks that were more financially well off and they have donated to a lot of charities in the Komarebi districts. They were given a title of nobility because, interestingly enough, Empress Lena and Emperor Kiro felt like uh, their eldest daughter would be a good fit for Fuko. So we're gonna go on ahead and go in. Let's see what's going on. What is everybody doing? I have the teleporters ready because you already, you already know, know the royals don't know how to act. This venue is so beautiful. Where is Akiro? Akiro is supposed to be here, but this is the Kim family. Oh, Fuko's over there. Luwe is like, child, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I can't. So Empress Lena is meeting the family and kind of just getting acquainted and they're having a private dinner. They're going to have some hot pot shortly. But this is Yumi and uh, why does she look? Oh, she's bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Talking drains me from being. Now she's focused. Okay. Comfy. Okay. I'm just curious to see what all she's oh, feeling valuable, probably by her mom or something. Angry. Oh, she, okay. She is is proper so I think that Empress Lena likes Yumi because she's very gorgeous she is a good look for Fuko because you know his reputation has taken a hit he already was seen as problematic but wait a minute honey your hygiene can't be going down like that not in front of the esteemed royals you know what I'm saying but anywho let me introduce you to her other family members oh that's Lue and Fuko this is her younger brother Dongwan and then this is their father Donghyun and Donghyun is kind of like the boss of the family. Oh no, she's pessimistic. She probably is not feeling good about this situation. But Donghyun, he is very kind of like a type A personality where they have some likable qualities, but sometimes they can rub people the wrong way. And when it comes to his kids, he does a lot of things, his kids and his wife really, he does quite a few things that rubs them the wrong way sometimes time and he is about like trying to seek perfection out of his children and he wants them to receive the best of the best in life for the name of the image of their family right so not so much because he's just like you have to succeed because I want what's best for you he's like I want what's best for the image of our family so when the idea of this like arranged marriage came up whereas the mom might have been like okay let's see how Yumi feels about it her father father would be like oh yeah she's gonna do it because this would be great for the family we will be able to have you know the nice royal lifestyle so Empress Lena wants to kind of get acquainted with the parents to see how you know they feel about this but notice Yumi is not really doing much talking so let's have Yumi and Fuko maybe come over here and have some hot pots can she do that oh I guess maybe she has to meet him first okay so let's have them meet before we have the meet, I figured this would be a good way to show you guys the traits without having to go into cast. So Yumi is an overachiever because she has that kind of burden placed upon her being the eldest child and with her father's expectations. She's also very intelligent. She tends to be a little bit pessimistic because she's used to not feeling like she's achieving her best being an overachiever. She is very proper because that is very important to her mother and father and she is very chic. She's also introverted. Let's see what other traits she has. Lactose intolerant. Does not want a child right now. Okay. She's a little bit shrewd. She's a fast learner and business savvy. Seems like, oh, does she have any preferences? Okay. She, she likes kids radio. What? She's sporty, feminine. Okay. I should start doing this more often when you guys are meeting new characters, but she has a neutral... I would say a little bit better than neutral reputation because she's known for being like pristine and proper. And then let me show you her. Do we care about the mom? Her mother is a little bit softer in nature. She's a little bit more nurturing than the father is, but she's also very intelligent, very much so ambitious. She's also introverted. She cares about exposing her children to like arts and museums and good things like that. Let's see what Doan is like. Doan is, oh irresistible I can't so seems like when we get him he's a teenager why did I say
say teenager. I'm sick. He's a teen. So we're going to see him interact more with the teens in future episodes, just like we saw um, the New Crest teens. So it's going to be teen teens. Okay coming very soon to the series. He also has that perfectionist vibe to him because of the pressures put on by the dad. And because of that, he tends to have no confidence in himself, which is really sad. Uh, oh, he would be happy to have a child. Not have thinking about that as a teen child. Yeah. Um, but let's see Dong Hyun. So he's family oriented and he gets a little bit hot headed when his kids don't always exceed his expectations. He's very self-assured and he's very serious. He does not like to lay around a lot and it's very hard to please him. So that's probably speaks volumes to some of the negative aspects of the kids. But let's go on ahead, have them meet. Let's get into it. This is going to be a little bit sporadic for a moment because I gave Lena the instruction to serve Hot Pot and she's going to talk to Fuko about why they're there. She also brought Lue along because she wanted Fuko to think this is like official royal business, right? Well, the thing is, Fuko does not know why they're here. Fuko, as we know, one of his traits is a woohoo lover. He gets around, right? So even though he knows he's supposed to settle down, get married one day, start having some children so that he can continue the legacy of their dynasty. He ain't thinking about all that right now. So he kind of likes to be a ladies man. And with everything that went on at the ball, he needs to kind of restore his image some. So what better way for him to do that than to be engaged to little Miss Perfect, right? So she's letting him know, honey, uh, the reason why we're here <laughs> is because I want you to meet this girl. And Fuko is like, okay. And Fuko is probably a little bit happy in the face. Oh wait, no, he look a little annoyed. I'm sick. He's probably thinking that, okay, this is just another chick for me to smash. Kind of weird that mom's setting that up for me, but whatever, you know? So where did Fuko go? Oh shoot, he sat down over here. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if she's really my type. I'm not sure about it because I think that Lena was like, she is breathtakingly stunning. You guys might really get along. Fuko is thinking, nah, he's more into like the baddie types, right? Where is Akiro at? Akiro is somewhere in here invisible. Cause I was like, I know he's in here somewhere, but he is literally invisible. Um, I had that happen to Clara once. So, oh, now he's talking with Fuko. <laughs> Let's have Fuko come sit down over here at least. Sit together, yeah. Let's have him come sit down. If it looks like Lena's talking to the air, she's talking to her invisible husband. I don't know, have you guys ever experienced that? Please let me know. Oh, yikes. Seems like he was just being rude. Woo, oh, okay. He's being obnoxious too, so Lena doesn't seem too pleased. Looks like she's trying to hold in a little bit of anger about that because she doesn't like the fact that she's telling him like, hey, you know, this is a nice opportunity to meet this nice girl and make a good impression. And he's sitting up belching and whatnot. Let's have Yumi come over and meet Fuko, okay? It seems like Fuko and, oh no, she's passing sick about it I'm sick looks like uh her whoa wait a minute I hate when stuff like that happens to their skin okay so mama's getting ready to go to the doctors but um Yumi does not look very excited to meet Fuko she probably did not real oh she's not even going to sit over there oh no Yumi you have to go over there and say hi so she's talking but from a distance that's interesting she's like oh it's an honor to meet you all Hello, Prince Fuko. It's a pleasure to meet you. And he has his back turned to her, still focusing on this food as if she is nobody special or important. Lu Wei is trying to be somewhat profe- Oh, never mind. Maybe not so much. Yuri is very tense. Okay. Oh, she's getting a bit anxious. I think that that's pretty reasonable because it's a lot going on and you're meeting some very important people. Okay, so they've done some small talk and unfortunately for poor Dol One, I have to have him do some dancing off to the side because they don't make these tables large enough for everybody. Uh-oh, it looks like Yumi is side-eyeing Fuko a little bit. Lena was trying to get Fuko to kind of open up 
a little bit and Fuko said something along the lines of she's kind of pretty but she doesn't seem like she'd be much use to me. Let me ask you this Yuki, how much would you like to court in the bedroom? That's what I'm interested in. Yumi would be pretty taken aback by that. She might have given some response. Let's see. Oh she's bored. Talking drains me. Oh shoot. He uh oh. Yumi has learned the following traits that he's mean. So Yumi's like, uh-uh, I don't think I like this guy. Oh, not Donkin being problematic too. But anywho, Yumi is like, first of all, my name is Yumi. And excuse me, Lena is like, please excuse my son. Fuko, I've already bestowed noble titles for them because this is going to be your new partner. So you need to be a little bit more respectful. Fuko says something along the lines of, See, that's what's wrong with women, right, Luwe? And Luwe is just like, child, I'm gonna eat my food and watch this disaster unravel. Fuko is like, you realize you'd be making love to the future king, right? That's a prize in itself. So Fuko is making it clear like, uh-oh, she thinks Yuri is swell and wants to become best friends. Wow. I'm gonna say no because she's best friends with Akiro. So even though Lena seems to really enjoy Yuri and she's getting along with her and wants to be good friends, Yuri's a little bit hesitant because she's seeing how Fuko was talking to her daughter. She was so taken aback. She was like, oh my God. And Dong Hyun was quick to step in and say, oh, please forgive them for their nonsense. You need to watch your mouth, Yumi, because you realize that this is a big blessing for us to be interested integrated into the royal family, right, Yumi? And Yumi seems quite unimpressed. And Yumi is like, um, a blessing with a splash of misogyny is hardly a blessing to me, father. And so Lena is reassuring Yumi, please be assured that this behavior will not be the standard or the typical. And Fuko is cutting his mom off and saying, look, I don't have much time as I have to get ready for this stupid camping trip, which we're going to see next. Lena is is kind of just smiling through the pain right now because she probably wants to go off on Fuko, you guys. Like she probably wants to whoop his ass or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Yumi has formed a sentiment with Fuko. So let's see what it is. Oh, his first impression. What? So she thinks he's funny? That doesn't make sense considering all the rude things that he said. But he thinks that Yumi is stuck up because she turned down his advantage. That's kind of wild. The toxicity of Fuko knows no bounds, you guys. So I think that Lena would call Fuko over. Oh, she's very inspired to set it off on him, it seems. She's like, Fuko, I cannot believe you would act like this. We are trying to restore your image and this is how you repay us. Why are you acting like such an embarrassment and a fool? Fuko's like, I don't even know why you care anyways, because you do realize that I'm going to be the one in charge making the rules when you're dead and gone, right? And she's like, how dare you speak to me that way? I am your mother before I am the queen. And he's like, and you're going to be dead and gone soon enough. You're getting old. And when I am the king, I'm going to do things how I want to. I think that Empress Lena is just taken aback. She is like, wait till your father hears about this. Fuko is like, I don't care if you tell him. I don't have any respect for him anyways, because he has no fucking backbone. Lena is like, how dare you speak about him like that? He has something that you will never have. And that is honor. Fuko is like, to hell with honor. When I'm the king, I'll have whatever the fuck I want. Why are they looking to enjoy like in a joyous moment now? No, you're supposed to be arguing. Maybe Lena is trying to hold her composure as the empress in front of these people that they are trying to impress. But Fuko has kind of gotten a sense of enraged and he's like really saying some hurtful things to his mother and she is just in shock. She just cannot believe that he would make the comments that he has about his father. He basically said his father has no backbone no honor and no respect and the honor that lena thinks that he has means nothing because all he is is like her accessory on the throne so he basically made it clear to empress lena that he has zero respect for her or his father and that all he sees them as is an obstacle until he gets on the throne and that is wild as fuck excuse my french 
but I had actually planned for things to go just a tinge different if Akiro had been here. So he would have said these things to Akiro's face had Akiro been here. I think that Fuko feels a little bit upset too. He, he doesn't have the emotional intelligence to convey this to his mom, but he feels a little bit upset and kind of ambushed that she would try to set him up in an arranged marriage without talking to him about it first. But it's like, why would they do that for you when you just made it clear you don't have any respect for them? So Fuko has the arrogant mindset that people should respect him but he doesn't have to respect others not even his own parents so he's kind of pissed about that and instead of just saying that he's going to the extreme and taking it a very evil route with things that he said and like i said earlier sometimes kids say things that is like not necessarily their fullest intention of like how what am i trying to say basically people can say some really evil messed up things to people and may not really actually full-blown mean it in the moment but at the end of the day once it's said it's something that cannot be taken back and for Fuko we know that he's very misogynist very sexist very ego driven but for him to basically tell his parents I don't give a f about you or your opinions or your feelings I have no respect for you you're an obstacle to my way to the throne that is beyond despicable and egregious even for Fuko so I think that Emperor Empress Lena is trying to be strong in the presence of these people. Oh, she literally is sick behind the comments that he made. And so she's gonna definitely deal with this a bit later. But we're gonna reset Fuko because he's done with what, what, oh, it reset the mom too. So Fuko is now gonna, what? Child, this, this episode is off the chain. Why is Duchess Winnie contacting Fuko when she's a whole merry bitch? What? When has she even met Fuko? at the ball i'm sorry i got so loud just now but that just blew me away Bitch. that blew me away has he had any romantic why is queen lauren in here they've never done anything that's crazy to see siren pop up who knew she'd make an appearance oh my gosh okay so yumi obviously they could hear some of these things i think that lena was trying to keep it down a little bit i don't think fuko cared about all of that the kim family has a lot to think about if it were up to the mother this whole thing would be a wrap but don't hyun is the decision maker for the household and he kind of will overpower everybody else's opinions even Yumi's and so Yumi has a negative sentiment oh she is angry from aggravating conversation witnessing him disrespect his mother like that she doesn't even know them like that just yet and she is angry for how he treated Lena oh and look at the lightning around she is not having any of his foolishness how are you angry and happy I can't Let's see what Fuko would try to say to Yumi. Oh my god. Ignore these foolish ass texts, please. Because I promise you, one thing Siren is not fucking thinking about is Fuko. Neither is Zara. Any fucking ways. Fuko sarcastically asks, Okay, Yuki, do you want to get ready to go with me for this stupid trip? And Luwe will be at least escorting Fuko on this trip. He doesn't really think that Yumi wants to go because clearly he sees she's not not fully interested and Yumi let's just say that Yumi said she would rather die on the worst day of her period than to go anywhere in this moment with him and she says your highness trying to be respectful and proper but also to be a little condescending back and she looks very upset like oh my god is this gonna be my future does my family fucking hate me why do they want me with that you know so yeah and i know that oh the food is steak now yikes. yikes everything's going very left very very left so lena is literally sick behind this shenanigans and she's like wait till we get home i'm gonna oh she's just like angry and heartbroken and sad and literally physically sick so we're gonna go on ahead and go to the next scene